We're going to talk about Fire Preplans here real quick. We talked in earlier videos that we can go here and click on your desktop to open the Fire Preplan map. Go ahead and go ahead and let that open real slowly here. Uh, at the same time, we're going to look here at our iPad Survey One Two Three. If we click on that, that's going to open up our application Survey One Two Three. Uh, as far as your workflow goes, uh, you can use your map here and go ahead and zoom in and on. Move this out of our way here. You can go ahead and zoom in on the map real close. You can go ahead here and find a building that you want to pre-plan. As you zoom in closer, uh, reminder your addresses are going to show up here. Uh, so you've already picked out your building here. You've done your pre-plan. Uh, you can either fill this out at the same time when you're at the building or you can come back to the station. We're going to click on the icon here that's red with the white fire there. So we clicked on the red button and then it opens up here like every other form. You look down here at the bottom, you'll see the blue collect button. You click on that. When you click on that, it's going to load the form. Uh, you can see here you got the text box for the address in the map and the remaining questions down here. Uh, go ahead and type an address and that's a backup for us just in case your map here, the pinning on the map, does not work. Uh, type a full address in here. To activate this map, you just click anywhere in the map right here. It's going to pop open the map. You'll see some icons here on the right hand side. We're going to use those as shortcuts to zoom the map in. This is a great big image. If you want, you can just start pinching your map here and making it larger and smaller like that. Uh, instead, the quicker way to do it is to click on this home icon right here, the second one down. When you click on that, that's going to zoom the map in downtown. And then this bottom button right here that looks like a target, when you click on that, that's going to turn on the locate me sign. You're going to see a blue signal showing right here. It's locating the iPad. Now since I'm recording downtown and we're zooming downtown, there's not that much of a difference. If you're out west, up north or south, you're gonna see a, you're gonna find out where you're at. It's gonna be a big difference. It's gonna zoom right to you. From there, you're pretty close. Now you can just pinch, just like your photo on your phone. Just pinch that slowly, and then you're gonna find your pin. Again, the pin stays put and the map will move with it. Place that pin in the middle of the building once you're happy with where the pin is at, down here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a check mark. Click on that. And then that's going to set the pin. As you can see, our map is zoomed in. We have a pin in the middle of our building. And that's exactly what we want. From there, you just scroll down your form, fill up the form as best you can and what's appropriate. Most of them are check boxes and drop downs. You might have a few texts to enter. You will see here the red asterisk indicates that this is a required field. It has to be filled out. As we scroll down, some of these questions may have nested functions, meaning underneath the building fire protection system, is there a connection present? If I choose yes, I'm going to get a few more questions. I can choose that. Again, you scroll all the way down, answer all the questions that are required, fill out any different additional information that you can find. Uh, every single form at the bottom is the same. You will have your officer name, ID number, rig type, rig, shift. Fill those all out. Uh, the rig type, when you choose engine, you're actually going to get the engine numbers that are available. And you can scroll there, choose which one you're going with, and then your shift. When all this is filled out and you're happy, you can choose the bottom right hand corner here, this check mark. That will submit it. If you are missing information that's required, it's going to give you a warning here. Please select primary entrance side. We have to go back and fill that out. We're not going to submit that at this time. Uh, instead, what we're going to demonstrate is how to close it out and how to save your changes. In the upper left-hand corner, you have a red X here. Click on that. And then you can choose close the survey and lose changes. Uh, and this is the one you may want to use. Save this survey into your drafts. If you're going to do this survey, you have to come back. You can save it. It'll be there for you on the device. And that's it. Once you're submitted, you're good. If you're out uh, and about doing your survey, you'll have to wait till you come back, look in your outbox, and then you can send. If you finish this in the station, you can go ahead and send now, and it'll upload and send your survey off.